as we open up another day of planes. A lot of people coming in saying Gam time. I can hear the CEO from backstage, by the way, shouting, it's Gam time. Uh, but for the Hawks, they need your love as well. Again, it's a very big moment once again. I want to see what Forrest ends up doing, because you can see already Elio trying love. to get some wars. Crash down Eric Knight. He's in trouble. Easy Love is isolated. His support had to move for the water. As you said, he flashes in, but the step fast won't stop anything. Marvel runs through his side, so Elio does get a trade, but over to the support. It won't be long before Forrest gets involved with the remount, the knock-up, the flag down, and Elio going bare up. Big kills to the bot side of SHG. Easy Love stepped up when his support wasn't there, and immediately Hawks collapse. Well, for this game as well, Levi maybe has to change it up a little bit. Shivana with the dragon stacking is good as it ignores that. Elliot's just dead. Maybe they can play for themselves now. This is styling on them. This is a sick performance. The yeah. fact he's consistently... He's looking for more, though. And with Vista now having himself the Magnet Storm, he wants to go in, but Elio with the flash commits before he can pull the trigger. Steadfast presence says no more moving. And Forrest flashes away, but Levi is a dragon with bones to bite. Double kill going over to Easy Love. The PCS second seed is Levi. It's dragon time. Between worlds we spread as Kiaya ranges down an annoying champion, whether it's Levi or Kiaya, they stay true to their style. Nicely as Vista looking for Elio once more. Has Shattering that strike. Looking to get Emo's, I think, as well. Maybe trying to kite it out as Elio takes some damage. Colin gonna be blocked though. Emo doesn't oh. save his support. It was a close call. But the Hawks, they're not getting much else. Levi now dragon form, forces away Marvel. There's the curtain call. They've got their own wombo of their own as over the top, over the edge, and everything in between. Right between is Marvel running for his life while Levi with a dragon's breath of fury and an explosive charge. Gam find another one, and I think Gam are indeed in charge. The flourish is deadly off the back of that one. Yeah, still, you got Dasher on Ooh. the bottom side. Between worlds is big boy. That's huge, that's huge. That between worlds has sent me to a different one packing at the curtain call the range comes in full for a wish and the fourth shot is not enough and i thought wait gam what are we pulling the trigger for maybe to zone away dagda but it's enough as easy love steps up plays with fire and dasher for the deadly flourish has to dash her away so shg they get out without losing some of their core carries but i say that too early marble is now run down and levi's got a movement speed buff come here yeah mid laner i want some more dasher over the wall but i think the damage is already done dagda I'd love to see it from SHG as well. Dasher getting thrown back to this tier one that's been standing for so long, but rooted up! Deadly fired from downtown! Oh, I would be spewing. Now he's moving away from just giving you a little bit of a niggle with those auto attacks. Yeah. actually starting to hurt, so now he's, done now he's got more. He's a horsefly. Take that. Another kill goes down. Another one over to Easy Love. He's going to help clear the way, but, you know, for Gam, there's no hard engage, but they've got side lanes working on that top end of turret. going to drop down. Levi jumps into the pit. Dragon is stolen as well for the Dragon King. I salute the captain again as he blows another house down. Evie's looking for the chase. Wants the kill. Easy Love burns out of context, but another bellow friend. Another burn. Another Dragon's rage. And Levi turns and came to play. Eliva showing why this dragon was banned against them so consistently in the VCS GAM have come alive in game number one. For people at home thinking, yeah, you know, the Hawks were not highlighting. Well, we want to see more things like this, but Elio is tanky enough at this point. The Keeper's Verdict sends out, gives numbers advantage. Forrest has to all in, and he gets a kill off the back of it as he flashes away and now has to take the blast gun away from Kiara as the... And you know what I noticed after, after looking back in their Frank Esports series is uh, Levi's here, and guess what? Elio just stuns Forrest into the wall. He won't be able to move for long. Levi doesn't even go dragon form. He's got three items, and he knows he does enough. And now you get the push. Great pick from Gam. The tower is there. Uh -oh. Marvel's gone. Into the wardrobe we go once more. We open that door. And Kiaya has taken us to a magical land filled of, filled of dreams. Happiness for Gam. Dagda in 27 minutes. I'm ready to go to the land of game two. Yeah, this is domination from Gam. One or two bright spots oh. for Hawks in the bot lane, but it's all gone dim. It has indeed. Evie's going to be the first to go with another breath. Levi will take his fill once again, godlike, on this Shivana. GB, you got some breaking down to do because this pick has dominated the SoftBank Hawks in game number one. The Hawks wanted to fly, but today is Gam time. We're staying grounded. Incredible performance from Gam in game number one. The shot calling, the 
way they play out the map, how they approach fights against Hawks. Hawks just never really got to play out their composition, and I think this was a difficult enough composition to execute when you don't have like guaranteed engage tools. Yep. You're trying to use Kaya as that, but.